Hi everyone, our subject today is premature adrenarche and telarche. Basics of adrenarche, appearance of pubic hair younger than the age 8 years in girls and the age 9 years in boys. Recent data suggests that the age of normal sexual development onset in girls is younger than previously recognized but lowering of the traditional accepted limits remain subject to debates. Axillary hair, acne, and uh, apocrine sweat glands secretion are not always present with the premature adrenarche. No other signs of sexual development are exhibited. Presence of breast development in girls or testicular enlargement in boys suggest precocious puberty and not premature adrenarche occurs independently of hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis activation. Basics of telarche Breast development in girls less than 8 years of age without evidence of uh, sexual hair development, vaginal mucosal estrogenization, linear growth acceleration, rapid bone maturation, adult uh, body odor, or behavioral changes. Exaggerated telarche, a variant of isolated breast development, occurs without axillary or pubic hair but with some acceleration of growth and bone maturation and increased uterine size. Data suggests that African American girls may develop pubertal changes as early as 6 years of age and Caucasian girls as early as 7 years of age. However, Caution should be used when evaluating children because signs of puberty at this younger age may not be considered normal and may be due to pathological condition. History. Careful attention to presence of any other signs of sexual uh, precocious puberty as well as rate of progression. Family history of pubertal development infertility, irregular menses, hirsutism, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and premature male pattern balding. Birth weight that is small for gestational age may predispose children to development of premature adrenarche. Obesity has been associated with the increased incidence of premature adrenarche. Girls with the premature adrenarche at increased risk for the development of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Careful assessment of onset and progression of the breast tissue. Careful assessment of a growth, a growth velocity, change in height percentile. Family history of early puberty and or uh, early menses. Exogenous exposure to estrogens, food, creams, etc. Physical examination. Linear growth velocity may be increased. The presence of pigmented curly hair in the pubic area is consistent with the androgenic effects from adrenal steroids. In girls, clitoromegaly suggests congenital adrenal hyperplasia or androgene secreting tumors. The finding of acanthosis nigricans suggests that insulin resistance and the risk of developing ovarian hyperandrogenism, polycystic ovarian syndrome, are present. Be careful to differentiate between true pubic hair, curly and short, and dark lungo hair, straight, long, fine, an extra light source may be helpful. Physical examination, palpate carefully to distinguish fat from true breast tissue. Areola hyperpigmentation and or enlargement is usually not present. Galactoria is not present. Look carefully for the other signs of puberty. Menstrual blood, dull, gray, pink, or uh, rogue vaginal mucosa versus prepubertal appearance shiny, upright, red, and smooth. Uh, pubic or axillary hair or any other signs of adren adro androgen excess. 
Inspect skin for birthmarks suggest of uh, Makuni Albright syndrome. Coffee or late spots on in a coast of Maine better. Evaluate height and assess growth velocity. Evaluate for signs of hypothyroidism, goiter, short stature. Differential diagnosis for infants with the isolated pubic hair, idiopathic pubic hair of infancy. Congenital late onset non-classic congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Tumors, androgen secreting tumors can arise in the gonads or adrenal glands. Miscellaneous causes, central precocious puberty, familial male precocious puberty, testicotosticosis, exogenous male hormone exposure. Other differential diagnoses of uh, breast enlargement, congenital neonatal breast hyperplasia in newborn boys or girls that appears shortly after birth and is caused by gestational hormones. This form of breast development is normal and usually regresses. Severe acquired hypothyroidism, high level of thyroid stimulating hormone, may cross stimulate gonadal follicle stimulating hormone and or luteinizing hormone receptor. Gonadotropin independent estrogen production, uh, Makuni Albright syndrome, triad of precocious puberty, cafeolate spots, and polystotic fibrous dysplasia due to gain of function maturation of uh, G proteins. True precocious puberty could be in the differential diagnosis, tumor, benign lipoma, ovarian, or adrenal tumors. Red flag, must distinguish fat from breast tissue in obese girls. Caution should be used when evaluating six, six to seven year old girls because sign of puberty at this younger age may not be considered normal. It is a concern if a male infant outside of the newborn period or a young prepubertal boy show breast enlargement. Removal of a breast bud will result in failure of that breast to develop during adolescence. Breast tissue enlargement may be the first sign of a true precocious puberty or may be associated with the other pathologies, tumor, hypothyroidism, and Makuni Albright syndrome. Boys with the premature adrenarchy and precocious puberty are more likely than girls to have an underlying CNS disorder. Can be the first sign of true precocious puberty, like a development of breast tissue and advance of bone age, and thus warrants careful observation. Treatment, no treatment, reassure parents and child uh, that this is a benign process. Reassess every six months to look for sign of virilization and pubertal progression. Thank you for your listening.